The Canoga Park man accused of going on a killing spree is now being held without bail. Detectives are now trying to figure out what triggered the rampage that left four dead. Kick it on's Rachel Kim is live in North Hollywood right now where two people were shot and has the very latest tonight. Rachel. Yeah, Jeff, one of the people who were shot was killed. Her name was Susie Lepe. Family and friends held a candlelight vigil earlier tonight, but they asked us not to point the camera in their direction because her children were here. You can see some people are left right now. But earlier this morning, we did speak with her brother. On Friday morning, Kuko Lepe returned to the spot where his sister Susie was gunned down. He told us the 45-year-old mother of four was a beloved wife and sister of 11 siblings. Her mother is overcome with grief. She's um, an 82-year-old lady who was crying and, and yelling uh, yesterday to her Lord um, to give her back uh, her baby and even myself. She was asking me, like, you, whatever you have to do, bring back. My baby. Susie Lepe's family tells us she once briefly dated 26 year old Jerry Zaragoza, the man now suspected of killing her at the gas station where she worked. After she broke it off, he became obsessed. Another gas station employee was shot and wounded during what police believe was a violent, murderous crime spree across the valley that took three other lives Thursday. The LAPD says it all began at Zaragoza's Canoga Park apartment, where he shot and killed his 56 year old father, Carlos, and his 33 year old old brother Carlos Jr. He's also accused of shooting his mother Blanca in the arm. She survived. Then he came to the North Hollywood gas station and opened fire on Susie and another man. Police say Zaragoza's fourth and final victim was on this Orange Line bus in Van Nuys where he randomly shot another passenger in the head. The 12-hour manhunt came to an end when FBI agents spotted him walking down a sidewalk seven miles away from the bus stop. When he wouldn't cooperate with police, he was tased, then captured and taken in an ambulance. The pain that he has caused to my mother and her children and uh, the sisters and brothers will survive, friends will survive, but there will be no justice. LAPD detectives told us today there is no question Zaragoza had a problem with drugs and had problems with his family. Again, he is being held without bail. As for the man who was killed on that Metro bus, he's only been identified as a man in his 50s. Reporting live tonight in North Hollywood, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.